Good afternoon and welcome to Post Office Road for our second round of the Betfred Championship 2023, Sunday the 12th of February, between the Featherstone Rovers and Halifax Panthers. I'll go through the teams first of all. Halifax looking for the first victory of any sort against Featherstone since on this ground since 2017 on our charge to the middle eights. Uh, Featherstone Rovers side first off number 23 Caleb Akins number 2 Luke Briscoe number 3 Chris Ankinson number 18 Josh Hardcastle number 5 Gareth Gale number 6 Jonathan Ford number 7 Riley Dean number 10 James Lockwood number 14 Matty Wilder number 17 Gadwin Springer number 11 Brad Day number 12 Elijah Taylor and number 24 Matthew Cosa and on the bench for Rovers today number 9 Connor Jones number 37 Craig Kopchak number 27 Mackenzie Yeh and number 13 Jack Bussey and for the Panthers today a few changes made by Simon Griggs but the back line's all the same number one James Wood Burnall number two Lachlan Walmsley number three Zach McComb number 22 Jake Mason number five James Saltonstall number six Louis Jufre number seven Joe Keys they're in the pack where the changes have been made number 31 Kevin Leroy number nine Brandon Moore number 13 Jacob Fair back line up as prop and then uh, second row, number 11, Ben Kavanagh. And number 17, making his debut for the Panthers today, Ryan King. And Adam Tangata locks up the scrum at uh, number 8. And on the bench for the Panthers, number 14, Kyle Wood. Number 16, Will Calco. Number 10, Dan Murray. And number 12, Matty G. 18th man today for Fax is Nick Rawstone. And the referee today is Chris Kendall. Now, emotions running high in this game for many reasons and again we have to start off this with the most awful news of Zach Dewhurst really popular member of Halifax tragically passed away this Tuesday the 7th of February at the age of just 27 the former Fax reserve player after coming through the ranks at King Cross Park where he continued to be an integral part of the club but his biggest effect was his role with the Halifax Panthers wheelchair team enjoying massive success including last year's Super League Grand Final win as a fundraising effort to give Zach the funeral an amazing person like him deserves. Go to www.justgiving.com forward slash crown funding forward slash Jack, Zach Dewhurst and give what you can. All of us at Halifax Panthers give our love and well wishes to Zach's family and friends at this time. We know that was a massive Fax fan and will always be remembered. And today's game and no doubt next week's home game against London will be played in his memory. So as you can see, the Panthers have come out first. And onto the field come the Rovers. Their first home game of 2023. Looking to build on a, a relatively routine one-sided victory against Keefley on Monday night in front of the via play cameras. And it'll be facts that have the all-important downhill advantage in this first half. Some might say it's an advantage going uphill but whichever way it'll be Fax playing from left to right in their home kit of blue and white and Fev Rovers will be playing in their butcher stripe navy blue and white kit heavy favourites for today but can the Panthers spoil the party here at the post office road The floodlights are on, they slightly delay kick off the football and Joe Keyes kicks us off. Goes deep and to the right this time, change of ploy there from the fax man. And it'll be Anthony Lockwood who takes the first drive up, met well by three fax defenders, including Leroy and Moore. Wilder hands it on to ex fax man Gadwin Springer. Sporting a die there, he's a good tackle there from his compatriot Kevin Leroy, held out by Fairbank. Here's Taylor. Met well by Mays and again Leroy getting through plenty of work on that right hand side for the Rovers. Here's Springer again, hands it on to Coza. Was met well by Brandon Moore and Fairbank just over the 40 metre line. Fev, here's Jonathan Ford on to Brad Day, taken well by Zach McCone. Altar by Jufre, last tackle. Decent defensive set. This is fairly fast first off, and it goes to Fax lad Riley Dean who puts it high. Hopefully, straight down Woodburn. All through, he's, he's there. Taken well, looking to counter attack. 
tries to brush off, does well, makes some good yards there, does with Bernal. And he finds a 25. There's Jufre and on assault and stall. Hond on to Warnsley, but meets nothing but a wall of Fed Rovers defenders with Taylor and Springer more on the salt and stall. Makes some good yards there, the salt and stall, pushing up towards halfway. Near centre field, Brandon Moore waits at acting half. Goes right to Jufre, brings on Ryan King on his debut on the angle. But tough defence there from Brad Day, his opposite number in the Fev ranks. Here's Tangata, takes it to the line, dummies nearly breaks through. But it's a good defence there from the Rovers. Last tackle signal by Chris Kendall and Keyes will put it quite deep and left, taken by Briscoe. But met by reception committee of three Panther defenders there. Good defence, good set there from Halifax and they'll look to attack through their defence. Leroy again, getting through plenty of work. Held out by Brandon Moore on Lockwood, the Rovers captain. Big hit up there from Fev. Here's Ford, the extra loser on to Hankinson. Steps inside but met well by McComb and Jufre. Rovers struggling to get out the own half here and there's a knock on there. And he is, he's given the knock on. Hankinson argues with the, the touch judge. But Chris Kendall gives the decision as the, the relatively small band of travelling supporters are behind those sticks. We're all the men on. And it'll be a scrum. Just over 40 metres out from the Rovers line here for Fax. As the back and forth between the two opposing fans starts. And again, we saw this last week, all the Fax men stacking left, and it's amazing who's going to feed the scrum in. Not a player on this right-hand side. And they go right, here's Jufre onto Woodburn All, trying to break out from the tackle. And it's offside against the Rovers. Two key in the defence, and his back chat again. 10 metres there. Now, will Fax go for two here, or will they? Will they try and put pressure on this Fev line? They'll go for the latter as Brandon Moore taps and finds Ryan King. He'll take it into the teeth of the Rovers defence. Great opportunity for points, early points here for Fax. Brandon Moore onto Fairbank, rushes her, Gadwin Springer rushes out. What a hit from the former Fax man. And that's a big let off for Rovers there. As Gadwin Springer puts on a monstrous sit on Bobby Fairbank there. What kind of response will the Panthers have here? As the crowd gets into this game now after the, those two exchanges. Here's Springer again, Fairbank looking for him. Good contact, but Springer does well to find his front. On to halfway, Wildy. On to Lockwood. Fairbank again, manages to get the ball out to Ford. Ford brings it short to Brad Day. But McComb does well to wrap him up. Slowing the play of the ball down well. McComb and Jufre. Here's Ford again. Goes blind onto Jufre. Does well, does the Halifax defence there. Last tackle here for, for Rovers. Here's Riley Dean. High ball, well taken by Woodburn All. Met straight away by Hankinson. And Halifax will start their attack. Just about 10 yards out. Assault and stall. Thoughts and thinks about the pass. Thought better of it and takes a tackle. No yards gain as this Rovers defence looks keen. Here's Warnsley. Halifax fans behind those posts say it's too keen. Calling for a free Chris Kennel to give offside. Nothing given. Here's Jake the Snake Mason. Trying to make yards here. More onto the Royer. Pounds it short to Fairbank. Nearly got through the gap and Fairbank passes without really looking. It's not been a good minute or so for Jacob Fairbank so far, which is rare for him. But as it is, Rovers have a great attacking opportunity here. 15 metres out from the Panthers line. Here's Coza. Well tackled by Tangata Elt out. By Ben Kavanagh. Here's Wilder, on to Springer, takes it himself. 
takes three. Fax Ben to bring him down. Rover shaping left, but they go right. Here's Dean, brings on Cosmo back on the angle. Well met there by Kavanagh, but he's still going. Didn't put him down there, and I think Kavanagh's come off worse. Oh no, sorry, it's Fairbank looks like. And Feather queuing up on the left, right, left-hand side here. Hankinson dummies. And it's the first try of the afternoon for Fev Rovers. And the pressure eventually tells. And it's Chris Hankinson. Such a prolific point scorer in his career. Goes over on that left-hand side. For Featherston. After six minutes here at Post Office Road. With the kick to come. It's Featherston 4, Halifax 0. And looks like Jacob Fairbank having, having a bit of a nightmare start to the game. Looks to be coming off with a head injury assessment. Injury there. Just went into that tackle. All, all kinds of wrong. And it was him being down that created the, the overlap for Featherston to take advantage on that left-hand side. Hopefully, Panthers will be able to fight back here. And it'll be the try scorer, Hankinson, who will look to turn his four into six. Had a pretty good night with the boot on Monday against Keithley. Goes through his routine. Strikes it well, straight through the post. And after seven minutes here, at the Millennium Stadium at Post Office Road, it's Featherston six, Halifax nil. And all the work to do for the Panthers here. And it's Dan Murray that's come on for Jacob Fairbank as Keyes gets us underway again goes deep and right forward hands on to Lockwood and Murray straight into the action in defence held out by Leroy and Tangata there as Fev trying to match the way he'll feel and that's soft defence Gareth Gale makes a break Gareth Gale looks to go all the way but Woodburn all does well to trap back held out by Walmsley that looked far too easy for Gareth Gale to break through there. As Fever shaping up right, uh, left here, sorry. Wildy brings on four, brings on Lockwood on the um, on the angle there. Great opportunity here for Rovers post, post points. As Wildy shapes right and goes left and finds Day. All sorts of pressure on this fast line here. Wildy surveying the options. Goes to Lockwood, on to Springer. Spring on the short ball. It looks like he's got that ball down, he has. And Fev go back to back. And it's the ex man Gadwin Springer, who's massive hit on Jacob Fairbank. Gave the Rovers the opportunity to strike. And it's that man again, who scores for Featherston. And after nine minutes here, he increases the lead. It's 10-0 to the home side. Could be question marks over the grounding, but there were no complaints from the facts. Players or fans there. But it all came from that break from Gareth Gale. Their soft defence allowed him to break up field. Good chase back from Woodburn Hall. But giving Featherston a 12 0 lead. After this short amount of time, is criminal because you'd think Ankinson will turn this four and a six, which he does. It's after just over ten minutes here. A bit of a nightmare start here for Halifax. It's Featherston twelve, Halifax nil. And can we weather this storm here? This home crowd is getting right behind their side as Keyes gets us underway once again going deep and right and once again Ford collects and once again Lockwood takes it up 
Tackled by McCormick King. Here's Gale again. He's well handled this time by Tangatsu and Laroya. Wild, it brings on the try scorer Springer. Having a wow of a game like he did at the Shea at the end of last season. Dean finds Hardcastle. The ball's come loose and it's going to be a penalty to Featherston for a ball steal. And at the moment, Halifax seems to be architects of their own downfall. Just gifting Featherston possession and territory as Riley Dean quite safely kicks the ball 10 metres upfield. And Featherston will start the set off with Elijah Taylor 40 metres out from the Panthers line. Here's Springer again, but met a lot better this time by Tangata and Moore. Wildy goes left to Dean. Dean onto Cosa. Finds Day. Tries to go in between McComb. Sorry, King and Jufre, but nothing doing. Lockwood onto Dean. Goes short to Elijah Taylor. Tangata it on suspicion. He's given the blip. Late hit there against Tangata. Now, Will Featherston carry on this onslaught on the Panthers line? Or will they go for two to go three scores ahead? I don't think there's much debate here. They're going to tap and go with Matty Wildy. Here's Lockwood. Goes into that Panthers defence. Centre field less than 10 yards out. Wilder brings on spring on the short ball once again. But a good tackle there by Murray. Wilder onto Lockwood. Fives forward. Hans Cosa short to Hankinson, but Sortenstall does well. Came in off his wing to put in a really important tackle there on Hankinson. Gale onto Ford. Ford finds Lockwood. He finds Brandon Moore in defence, but well helped out there by King. And Leroya. While he goes left this time on Jonathan Ford. Jonathan Ford, dummies, drives going himself. But a great cover tackle there by Ryan King. Had to be. Here's Wildy. Covers it through, but finds Tangata. Great play there by Tangata. Well covered. They escape conceding points, but Halifax will start the set right on their own goal line here. Alex Woodburn all tries to get us out of there and Saltonstall joins in and the ball's come out there it came out too quickly and it was reefed and that's a very relieving penalty there for Featherston as on this near side Chris Hankinson looks to be struggling he's in all sorts of bother there but as it is Halifax get the second penalty of the game and much needed to try and get out of their own Danger zone there. Here's Jufre. And the ball's come out again. The ball's come out again. It's another penalty. Back to back penalties here for Halifax. Both of ball steals. Now, Kendall should be having a word here with Featherston. Two tackles on the trot where they've stolen the ball. There's Joe Keys. Nearly gets the commentator there. <laughs> and then the ball lands on Tom Inman's head. <laughs> it all goes, all goes a bit hushed here at Post Office Road. Here's more. Murray, little run around. Nice play here from Halifax. Finds Tangata. We'll be able to hold the ball and get to play the ball in. We can. Here's Leroya. He's got through plenty of work so far. It's Kevin Leroya, great run there. Great yards after contact. Halifax shaping left here. Moore finds keys. Goes out the back to Jufre. Jufre finds Woodburn all. Woodburn all. Tries to go himself. Tries nearly half break there. But the Featherston defence covered well. And left something on Woodburn all there. Don't look well at all as Tangata shades past the Roy but goes himself. As Woodburn all grasping that right arm. Moore onto keys. Keys, long ball out to Mason, on to Walsley. Ran out of room there, the lack on Walsley, but comes back inside. Still going, Walsley, but the ball comes out, finds Murray. 
the natives are calling for a knock on nothing happening there from Chris Kendall last tackle here for the Panthers slow play the ball it's a six again six again here for the Panthers Keys finds Leroy a great footwork at the line first six again of the game for Halifax as for the first time they can really spend some time down on Featherston's line Murray takes it up slow play the ball yet again Moore loose pass finds Keys brings on Kevin on the angle tries to go between Lockwood and Springer but the door closes Brandon Moore spikes some markers out of position it's another six again for the Panthers can they turn this pressure into points as Brandon Moore is held up over the line the locals don't like it from Kendall but it was blatantly a holding down Tangata wide to Jufre. Jufre brings on his fellow compatriot Leroy Leroy goes to the line still going just brought down short Brandon Moore waits finds Joe Keys steps inside tries to go himself spies a gap but the door closes yet again Moore waits again Moore onto Jufre. Jufre goes on to Mason Mason steps inside Featherstone fans calling for crossing but not too sure they know the rules there Warnsley fires it out to Jufre. Jufre brings on Dan Murray on the angle takes four men to stop him last tackle centre field for Halifax here's Keys. Keys out to Jufre. steps inside and Featherstone defenders all over him and the roar you'd think they'd score a try for this thing but after such massive pressure they've kept Halifax out and they've passed the first real test of the game as Woodburn all receiving treatment on the field and it's Gareth Gale who will start to set off for Featherston inside their own 20 metre line and these Fev fans will call for everything from this referee now great hit there from Ben Kavanagh brought down by Murray and Moore great hit from Tangata on Dankinson there he's getting a bit tasty here he gets the ball away on to Cosa but Cosa brought down so it's Caleb Akins who brought down there as Briscoe looks to find a gap in the alley fast defence put down by King on halfway Wildy shakes right and goes left to Ford Ford brings on Brad Day on the short ball but well marshalled there by Jufre and McComb who push him back well great defence there from Halifax that's brilliant work last tackle here for the Rovers Wildy finds Dean who'll go high once again and deep but taken well by Woodburn All who finds Saltonstall Woodburn All still don't look right as Jufre goes wide to Walmsley it's put down well by Elijah Taylor and Harcastle it's all going to be lacking of ideas at the moment for Halifax they all just stood around waiting for something to happen here as Mason takes it in Dan Murray goes towards centre field but it's met by Lockwood and Day finds the 40 metre line Moore goes to Keys. Keys kicks deep. It's a great kick that. Bounces kind for Featherston though. Briscoe goes inside to Aikens. Aikens looking for a gap in the defence. Hands off to Gale. Who finds three Panthers defenders waiting for him. Better set there from Halifax coming out of territory. And here's Ankinson. Met by McComb and King. Wrestle to put him on his back just short of 40 metre line here as Wilder hands off to Springer met by King as Sangata risking a penalty there coming in late nothing nothing doing from Chris Kendall as Wilder on to Lockwood as the attack goes past halfway Wilder to Ford again here's Day great tackle there from Sangata as the Rovers Bray the Panthers 30 metre area Last tackle, Dean goes high again. 
Idris in the air, well taken there by Woodburn Hall. Jufre finds Salt and Stall. Bit of lazy defence coming back here from Featherston. Unlucky not to get penalised there. Mark has worked square. Here's McComb. As Will Calcott has come onto the field. I'm not too sure who's come off. Here is Calcott. Looks like the Roy that's come off, by my reckoning. Here's Keys. Goes to Kavanagh. Great run from Kavanagh there. Nearly broke through with Walls in support. Last tackle here for Fax as Keys. Goes to that corner again. Caleb Aikens chasing. Well taken there by the ex lee fullback. Tries to fire a gap and he does. Gets a gap there. Hands it on to Gareth Gale. Gareth Gale brace yet again and Woodburn all chasing once more. And yet again, Woodburn all gets to him. But again, soft defence in the middle after a kick from Halifax. As Featherston looks to be queuing up on this right hand side. Well hands it on to Briscoe. Briscoe on to Cosa. Half challenge there for McComb. But put down by King and Dan Murray. As the Rovers into the Fax 20 yet again. Lockwood put down by Murray and King once more. Wildy having all the time in the world out to now. Finds Cosa. Gets it out. Back to Wildy. Wildy. On to Lockwood. Lockwood finds Ford. There's a blue and white wall in front of him, not moving forward. And Ford just decides to take the tackle. Here's Wildy. Brings on Lockwood short. Fast defence coping well at the moment. Last tackle here. Can we keep him out? Wildy grubbers it through. Yeah. And it goes to Wildy. It's ricocheted all over the place. And you can see, mate, you're all looking this game. And every bounce of the ball has gone Featherston's way at this moment. Facts have had penalties, they've had opportunities, but never showing that ruthless streak that they showed on Monday night. And after 24 minutes here, it's Featherston 16, Halifax nil. Just over a quarter of an hour to go here in Featherston, dominating the scoreline here. And pretty much every visit they've had to the Halifax line, they've scored points. But it's first 10 minutes or so, yeah. Bit of a nightmare start, but we've had some opportunities down there and just not, not taking them. And again, side like Featherston, who to be fair have had a lot more game time experience than I've had so far this season. There'll be a little comfort to Simon Griggs down there. And as Chris Ankinson lines up the shot of goal, Matty G will come on to replace Alan Tangata. Ankinson strikes straight through the post. Never in doubt. As I said before, a prolific point scorer. And we're just over a quarter of an hour to go to half time here at the Millennium Stadium at Post Office Road. With Featherston 18, Halifax 0. And the Panthers staring down the barrel of a gun here. As Joe Keys decides to go back to his old tried and tested routine of going to the left hand side. Riley Dean collects, but yet again it's Lockwood who will take the ball up. Here's Ardcastle, met well by Brandon Moore and Murray. Good contact there. As Halifax will try and restrict this Featherston pack out of their own half as Springer. Looking a completely different player to the one that wore Halifax colours not too long ago. And Cosa great hit there from Moore and G. Wild on to Riley Dean inside the 40, looking for a 40 20. Wormsley's there. Good bounce for the Scottish international. He'll look to counter attack, but nothing there. And just decides, just go down with the ball and take the tackle. 
And the Panthers will start 25 metres out from their own line. Here's Woodburn Hall onto Saltonstall. This Rovers defence is just relentless. Jufrey onto McComb. Nothing happening in the middle of the field here for Halifax. Gonna have to change up the tactics somewhat. Here's G, runs straight at marker, Wildy, makes a bit, a bit of ground. Past the 40 metre line. Centre field. Line up left and right here. It goes to Keys. We'll find Kavanagh. Good footwork at the line, but Hardcastle held on well. Last tackle here for Fax as Keys puts it high. But it's not the deepest kick and Aikens will take on his 20. Looking for a gap. Nearly through again, Aikens, but brought down by Calcott and G. Ford onto Gale again. Looking dangerous every time he gets the ball, it's Gareth Gale. As Rovers rotate their bench, Springer and Lockwood off. And Kopchak and Papua New Guinea International. Mackenzie Yeh coming onto the field and Kendall listening to the crowd there for that penalty. It was a bit of a tip tackle there, but yeah, again, Halifax, architects their own downfall here. Soft penalties. As a rover start, less than 30 metres out from the Panthers line, Kopchak takes it up first drive. Here's Elijah Taylor on that right hand side for Pedestin. Wilder looks right but goes left. Aikens finds Riley Dean, Riley Dean onto Ford, Ford goes out the back to Hankinson, steps inside. Packing through weak Halifax defence there, it's all hands, nothing there. As Kotchad drops the ball and Joe Keys thought about going for a line there but decided against it. And it's a let off for Halifax as Jufre goes blind to Saltonstall. Met heavy by Ankinson. And yet again, this Rovers defence is just relentless in centre field putting all sorts of pressure on Halifax who are really struggling to get out their own territory line as Calcott does well Calcott gets the ball out that's better from Halifax Murray on to McCone McCone tries to buy the gap but met well there better tactic there from Fax need more offloads here as Ryan King decides to go direct and finds Wildy still not over the halfway line the Panthers Here's Matty G, goes out the back to Keys. Keys short to Kavanagh, cries a forward pass ignored by Chris Kendall. Last tackle and Halifax go blind again onto Mason. Crubbers it through, it's a good kick that just goes out, but that's a better set from the Panthers. I don't think they're going to beat Featherston in terms of brute force in the middle. They're going to have to try something different, whether it's offloads or run arounds or anything like that but that's a decent set there for Halifax forcing the Rovers to start 10 metres out from their own line as Brad Day bounces off King but it's found by Murray and G here's Mackenzie here the cannonball but well tackled there by Calcott and Moore the little man on the big man he doesn't like it six again from Chris Kendall interference at that play of the ball and the Rovers will yet again have decent territory to play with. As Ford waits at dummy half, goes blind, finds Aikens, Aikens on time, Hankinson, Hankinson goes back inside to Ford, who finds Ye again. And once again, targets little Brandon Moore. And once again, Brandon Moore puts him down. Wildy onto Kopchak, spies a little bit of a gap behind the rook. But the Panthers. Put him down, just under 30 metres out, centre field. Here's Ford, little chip over the top. Well read by Saltonstall, it's an awful bounce. And the fax man just boots it out. I think it was Zach McComb who booted it out for a dropout. 
just under nine minutes to go till half time. Ferriston 18, Halifax nil. And it's a steep climb for Halifax to get back into this game, but I think another Featherston score here. And it could well be game over at this early stage. Fax taking the time, let's drop out. Joe Keys. Not gonna go short. Tries to go deep, finds a 40 meter line, and here comes Kopchak. Met well by the Panthers defence. Moore, Murray, and G. Here's Cosa, finds Mackenzie Yeh. Destructive against Keith on Monday. Struggling to put him down and just stopped his progress. Wildy onto Cosa. Steps off his left, but finds Murray and Kavanagh. And a bit of a, nearly a bit of a cannonball tackle there from Calcott. Here's Riley Dean, brings on Hardcastle on the angle. Steps out of the challenge, crabbing across the field. Hardcastle still stepping, eventually wrapped up there from the fast defence. Five metres out from the line, Wildy finds Kopchak onto Dean, finds Ford, Ford onto Aikens, three on two here for Featherston as Jufri lot lost the tackle there and Caleb Aikens scores Featherston's fourth try of the afternoon and that simply isn't good enough defence there from Halifax just made it far too easy and we're just over seven minutes to go till our time that Caleb Aikens try makes it Featherston 22 Halifax nil with a kick to come If he had any hair, any hair on his head, Simon Griggs would be tearing it out. Because that defence is just not good enough. And the lack of intense match experience is showing here for Halifax. As Hankinson lines up for the conversion. And just when he thought he couldn't get any worse, Matty Wilde is about to be replaced by Connor Jones of Edderston. Hankinson just to the side of sticks. Should be fairly academic, and it is. Four tries for Edderston, all converted. There's six minutes to go here. At the Millennium Stadium, at the post office road, it's Featherston 24, Halifax nil. And I said that Halifax looking down the barrel of the gun. I think they're about to sit on the electric chair by now. As Keyes goes left, Kodchak brings it back with force. For Met by G and Murray. Who are putting down. 25 metres in their own line. Here's Briscoe. Takes it up to Featherston's 30 metre line. Jones onto Mackenzie Yeh. Every time he gets the ball, there's a, an intake of breath. Here's Ford. Wide to Day. Day steps inside. Jufre helped out by McComb, puts him down just over halfway. Gale waits at dummy half, takes it himself. Goes into that Panthers defence, makes 10 fairly easy yards there. Last tackle here for Fev. Connor Jones chips it over the top. Woodburn all takes on the full. Good work there from the fullback and gets out of the challenge. And he goes through one. That's a high tackle there from Mackenzie Year. <coughs> and he stays down as Woodburn all. Now, should that be a yellow card? At least. Direct contact to the head there. And Woodburn all stayed down. Doesn't look good. Now the letter of the law, straight direct contact to the head. Should be yellow at least. But Will Kendall show leniency here. Dots is on the field and Woodburn all face down on the turf not looking good
He's got onto his his knees. But lots of concern showed by the medical staff here. As Kendall, yep, he's given a yellow card to Mackenzie here. Quite riling. If anything, he's lucky. It's not more. As the Papua New Guinea and only just come onto the field, he's straight back off. As Woodburn all rather groggily gets to his feet. As Keys, good touch finding kick there from Keys. As Salt and Stall wants to get on with it. Bit of urgency here for the Panthers. It's good to see as, Wood, as Salt and Stall does well with the first drive with this set. Can the Panthers post points against 12 men of Featherston? Here's G, does well. Wraps around his head from Kotchak, nothing given there from Kendall. More onto Keys, brings Murray into play. As Alifax looks to set up. 25 metres out from the fed line. Here's more onto Keys. Keys out of the back to Woodburn all. Long ball to Walsley. Great try. Great play from Halifax. And it's points just before half time. And they made the sin being a McKenzie Yeah, pay. Fantastic play from Halifax there as Lachlan Walsley. Scores his second try of the season. Three minutes to go till half time. And could there just maybe be a comeback on here? Three minutes to go until half time. Featherston 24, Halifax 4 with a kick to come. Fantastic play. You could tell by that Murray Murray drive just to they'll get a set up a move. And it's something we've seen countless times. Keys out the back to Woodburn all and a lovely floated pass across the face to Lachlan Wormsley who does what Lachlan Wormsley does and finishes off in the corner already on his second try of the season as Joe Keys lines up the conversion attempt with a boisterous Philistine supporters behind him trying the best to put him off up he comes strikes it well but as the Featherstone fans will tell you, it's just faded to the right hand side of the post. But Halifax, all coming from that bit of urgency shown from that tap penalty from James Saltonstall, showing that there is something there for Halifax. Granted, making the most of the uh, 12 men that Featherstone have, but even so, there's points on the board and a similar scoreline to this in a Venice and Halifax game once upon a time could it happen again 22-4 does that ring any bells so it'll be Hankinson they'll get us on the way after that try score as Warnsley finds Will Calcott who finds nothing but Matthew Cosa and Craig Kopchak. Here's Jufre on to McComb. Trying to catch Liz's defence out here, but Jonathan Ford and Brad Dare up to the task. Jufre on to G. That's a high tackle again from Featherston. Nothing given from Kendall there. As Murray on to Keys. Keys finds Kavanaugh on to Mason. Mason trying to show that pace he showed last week. But it's a quick play of the ball as Walsley tries to go himself. And he's six again here for Halifax. Great opportunity there. Spied the marker. Not square. And Featherston fans not liking it. And with around about two minutes to go here. Can Halifax get another score? Jufre onto Woodburn all. Woodburn all. Tries to take the tackle, but he's lost the ball. And I said it before, Halifax are just their own worst enemy at times here. Woodburn all shows his, his own disgust there. Ball security is paramount and had a really good opportunity to post some more points there. As it is, Featherston will bring the ball out. The last thing we want now is another Featherston try. The clock here uh, just suddenly disappeared. But I reckon we're in the last minute here. As Jones finds Dean, hands on to Arcastle. 
better defensive set here from the Panthers. As Jones hands on to Cosa. Good contact there from Matty G. Into the Panthers half. Now the Rovers. Here's Jonathan Ford. Goes wide Tankinson, steps inside. Does well, trying to find Lay's defence on the inside, but Moore and King close the door. Last tackle here for Fev as Ford. Little dink over. Back to one, it's all over the place here. And again, Ricochet has gone in Fez's favour. And Ken Halifax. Old Featherston out here. Must be seconds to go. And Aikens comes through. It's a forward pass. And that's Manna from Evan from Halifax. And there it is, the half-time Uta sounds. Well, Halifax, get the play of the ball, no, they won't. Chris Kendall blows for our time. And that last Halifax try there, giving something to, to play for here. As a fairly one-sided first half from Featherstone, Chris Ankinson, X Fox player, Gadwin Springer, Matty Wilde, and Caleb Aikens score tries for the own side, all converted by Chris Ankinson. But a late Lachlan Walsy try, giving the Panthers some hope to take him to the second half. Half time score, Featherston 24, I that's Panthers 4. Welcome back to the Millennium Stadium here at Post Office Road for the second half in the round two. Betfred Championship 2023 between Featherston Rovers and Halifax Panthers. Rovers dominant in that first half. 24 points to four, the half time score, but a late Lachlan Walmsley try with Featherston down to 12 men because of Mackenzie Yeh Simbin in means this first 10 minutes so is vital as Walmsley collects the kickoff, finds Dan Murray. But this. Relentless Featherston defence in the middle, yet again. Punishing Halifax as Calcott tries to run it off a Jufre pass. As Halifax made the 20 metre line, here's Ryan King on his debut. Finds Jonathan Ford. Featherston slowing the play, the ball down well. Here's Jufre. Jufre onto McCobb, onto Stoughton Stall. Great break here, inside to Jufre, Jufre! Great break here from Halifax, Jufre. Great cover tackle there from Caleb Aikens. But they're screaming for the ball on this left hand side, Halifax. And Sautenstall looks to kick up by himself. Push the ball out, he is. Knock on. Oh, and the referee, Chris Kendall, gives a penalty. Probably for the push. Van Sautenstall, but lightning fast. Start here from the Panthers. Finding joy. On that Featherston edge. As Featherston will try and eke out all the seconds they can to stop this Simbin from having much impact. As Riley Dean kicks the ball to touch. Now can Halifax put pressure on here through the defence? Ford hands on to Kopchak. Put down by three Panthers men, including King. And more. Here's Cosa. Well put down there by Murray and G. Jones onto Ford. Thought about the ball inside, but good pressure on there by King and Calcott. Just shy of the halfway line, Featherston. Here's Kotchak. Dummies inside. And he's still going, Kotchak. Weren't put down right. As the Panthers put him down 40 metres out. Jones onto Cosa. Had Elijah Taylor with him. But good defensive set here from the Panthers so far as Ford. Goes high. Here's Woodburn All. Takes it well. Woodburn All. And Fax will start to set out just, just over the 10 metre line. Assault and stall. Goes again. His break. Nearly paying dividends for the Panthers. Jufre onto Keys, goes inside and finds nothing but Josh Hardcastle who drives him into the turf. Warnsley finds Mason. The outside backs trying to find territory here for the Panthers, but this 
Featherston defends in the middle yet again, restricting it. Here's Jufre, out to McComb, stepping, trying to spy a gap. Still going McComb. Not broke halfway as Chris Kendall signals last tackle as Jufre slices his kick, meaning Aikens takes on the full and Fed will start the set over their own 40 metre line here. Here, Tom Briscoe, Lou Briscoe even. Finds nothing but three man welcome committee of Cavern and Murray and Moore. Riley Dean goes blind. On to Hardcastle, but met well by Keyes. Helped out by Mason and Murray. Puts them down 35 metres out. And lots of messing around. And Chris Kendall gives a six again. And that is not what Alifast need at this stage. As Featherston through Cosa, 40 metres out. Go blind to Dean. Running threat from Dean, finds Ford. Brings on Hankinson on the angle. Tries to spot lazy defence, but Ryan King does well. He's putting down onto Kopchak. Kopchak taken high by Murray. And Rovers fans calling for a sin binning. As Mackenzie Yeh, speaking of sin binnings, comes onto the field and rather predictably, predictably, Hankinson signals he'll go for goal to eat more time out so that by the time he kicks it Mackenzie A will come back onto the field and Featherston will be back it's the full complement of players and it's not what they wanted it'll mean nothing now if that's all start to score four times but it just keeps that scoreboard ticking over. And as I say, it ekes that time out. And Mackenzie A has come back onto the field. About 13 metres out. Bang in front of the post here for Ankinson. And yet again, the flags go up. And Ankinson. Kicks his fifth goal of the afternoon to bring the score. Fenerson Rovers 26, Halifax Panthers 4. There's still lots of work for Halifax to do. As Keys lines to kick off, goes left once again. Dean collects and brings on Kopchak. Met well by Murray and G. Put down 25 metres out from his own line. Here is that Manier, bumps off Kavanagh and wins his side a penalty because his threat meant that Halifax were too fast off their own line as Connor Jones taps and goes. Trying to spy a gap here as Will Calcott puts him down and Featherston are really stepping up here. Mackenzie Yeah, yet again. Making an impact, but Brandon Moore puts him down. First and goal, left with Ford. Steps through the gap, hands it off. But it's too Featherston, it looks a bit forward to me. But nothing given there. And Hankinson scores his second try of the game. After 46 minutes to bring the score out. So Featherston 26, Featherston 30, sorry. Halifax 4, and probably game over now. 30 points to 4, going downhill. I think several started to dominate, but hopefully there's a response from those men behind the post there. And Featherston just too fast, too strong. And that class of Jonathan Ford. Show it there. And Halifax looking down. Barrel of a gun there. 
26 points difference. Will soon be 28, no doubt. From the boot of the try scorer, Ankinson. Takes his time. And strikes it through the post. For his sixth goal of the afternoon. To bring the score to Featherston 32, Halifax 4. Substitution for the Panthers. Calcott coming off, who's done well. And Kevin Leroy, who had a great first stint. The Panthers coming on as Keys once more goes deep and left. Once more, Dean collects. And once more, Kokchak takes the ball. Looked to be a bit high, but I think it was chest first, then up. Here's Briscoe. Finds Ryan King. He's worked hard his debut for the Panthers and Brandon Moore. Here's Hankinson again. Just looks dangerous every time he gets the ball. Is that centre? Pedersen already. 45 metres out. And here's Mackenzie Yeh once again. Big contact there. But caught well from Fax. And I think Kendall's been a bit lenient there. I think ref some referees would have given that as an incorrect play of the ball, but I mean, already Simbin him, I don't think he's wanting to put too much on the lad. Big bone from Dean, taken well by Walmsley, but he's met straight away. And he's knocked the ball on as Walmsley. And he's kicked the ball away, he's losing his head a bit there, he's lack on Walmsley. He's, kicked, he's conceded a penalty here. Now I don't think, no matter what you think of the decision, you can't be doing stuff like that. Just compounds the misery there. The Halifax are facing right now. Just less than half an hour to go in the game. Person 32, well at the back's four. I'm just giving more opportunity for Featherston to post more points. As Lockwood, fresh back on the field. Takes the ball up as Featherston looks to go blind through Dean. Dean, short to Taylor. Taylor Marshall Wealth by Keys and Mason there. As Jones goes from Attenar, steps through, but he's taken short. Good defence there from Halifax. Through Ben Kavanagh and Joe Keys. Taylor fires out from Dummy R, finds Dean. Onto Lockwood, onto Ye. Ye. Still, still going. I put down Ferguson line up on the right, but they go left, sorry, they go right to Kokchak. Put down centre field, last tackle. They're setting up on the right here, Featherston. But he goes to Ford on the left. Ford covers through. And as the chase has got the ball there, no. He's knocked on. And it's a relief there for the Panthers. As Ifast looks to break from deep. Little run around from Walmsley and Salty. Finds King. And here's Salton Stall again. Trying to inject a bit of pace into the game in Halifax. Jufre on to McComb. Does well, does McComb. Makes some good yards there. And it's knocked on as McComb. Could hear the cries on that far side and knock on him. Chris Kendall gives in. There's not much protestation there from Zach McComb. And Fedeslav a scrum, 45 metres out from the Panthers line. It'll be far to feed the scrum. And the peel round to this right hand side. Here's Riley Dean, out of the bat to Aikens. Aikens finds Briscoe. Ben Cameron shows in the touchline, does well. Helt out there by Brandon Moore, who's just been everywhere this game, Brandon Moore. Jones finds Dean onto Lockwood. Thought about the pass to Kotchap, but decides to take him himself. Featherston, go right. Here's Dean. Dean 
goes himself, shows and goes, and goes over. And Riley Dean, the Halifax youngster, scores against his hometown club. And yet again, it's soft. Defence there from Halifax. And we're just over 25 minutes to go here. It's Featherstone 36, Halifax 4. Too easy there for Riley Dean. We saw his try scoring prowess on Monday night against Keefley. And it's proved it yet again here. And I fast fall further behind here. And Ankinson yet again left with a fairly simple shot at goal to carry his 100% record today. I think it's the first time that they scored on this right flank, Ferriston. But Riley made them pay. Here's Ankinson. Commentator's curse there. He's missed his first shot of goal this afternoon, so the score remains. Featherston 36, Halifax 4. As Ryan King takes a well deserved rest. And Adam Tangata comes onto the field. And Keys will kick off once more. And again, Dean collects. And again, Kopchak will take it. This time, more at centre field. As Featherston start to set off. 12 minutes from their own line. Here's Ye. Every time he gets the ball, there's a bit of excitement from the terraces. But it's well put down there by Murray. There's Day. Takes four to put him down. So how Jack Bussey looks like. Here's Lockwood, well, well hit there by Brandon Moore. He's been absolutely everywhere as pushed today. Here's Dean, looking for a 40-20, but he's skewed that a little bit. Straight down the throw, Lachlan Warnsley. Thought about the pass, will take it himself. But it's great chase there from the Rovers. They've been very good today, but I think it's because we've let them be good. Here's Salt and Stahl. Jufre, dummy half. Amazing. Into the defence. Bit of a tip tackle there from Lockwood. But nothing given. Amazing felt that. Here's Leroyer. Amazing still. He's not right. Physio's on for him. Slow play the ball again. Here's more on Jufre. Does well to keep that ball with Jonathan Ford right right in his face here's Keys. pulls it high spirals it up no one wanting anything to do with that as the bounce goes to Lachlan Walsley and Lachlan Walsley scores of a of a freakish bounce from that Joe Keys bomb and Lachlan Walsley scores his second try of the game his third of the season and after 57 minutes here on the Millennium Stadium post office road it's Alifaz bring the score that's 36 points to 8 and Lachlan Warnsley chases up well unorthodox dive for a line this time but they all count and is there a comeback on? like I said before there's been games where Featherston have held a, a big lead against Alifaz and we've rolled back to win could this be one of those days? As Joe Keys looks to shape up to get his first goal of the afternoon. <laughs> As those IFAX fans behind the post saying Riley Dean's a fax fan. Here's Keys. Strikes it well, straight through the posts. And Joe Keys 
gets his first goal of the afternoon to bring the score to Featherstone 36, Halifax 10. Now the result might be out of reach here, but it's an opportunity for Halifax to put some sort of statement now, saying that they can live with Featherstone. Lots of talk from the boys there. As I said before, there's been architects of their own downfall. Could that be where it's easy to fix for Simon Griggs? Here's Warmsley. Takes and goes wide. As Dan Murray's hit hard by Kotchat, but rides the tackle well. Sorry, Gareth Gale there. These floodlights are the best. As Rovers try to push the man out. Throws the ball. I think you're James Saltonstall out there who, who panicked a little bit there. And once more, after posting points, Halifax, they just waste possession there. And they're back to square one. And it'll be Featherston who'll have a play of the ball. Centre field, 20 metres out. Looking to put more points on the board. Here's Lockwood. Met by Tangata and Leroya. Here's Jones on to Dean. Dean brings on Ye on the angle. It was well marshalled by four Halifax defenders who put him on his back. Somehow gets on his front. Here's Jones. Goes to Kotchap. Short and flat to Taylor. But again, well dealt with by the Halifax defensive Kavanagh. Here's Kotchak, on to Jonathan Ford. Dummies, goes to Aikens, Aikens out wide to Gale. Gale, rides the challenge, does he get it down? He doesn't, great defence there from Halifax. And Woodburn all looking to start this quickly. Tarson finds Walmsley. Halifax playing with a bit of vigour now. As Brandon Moore takes a really well deserved rest. And Kyle Wood comes on for his first game of the season. Jufrey finds G, met well by Jones, held out by Bussy and Lockwood there. Wood straight onto the action, finds Leroy, Leroy onto Keys. Goes himself, Joe Keys. Keeping that Rovers defence guessing. Wood waiting a dummy half. Here's Kavanagh. Goes back against the grain. For the Rovers defence. Quickly, great play, quick play the ball there. Kyle Wood scoops out dummy half. Great play there for well tackle there by Bussy on Tangata. Really important challenge there. Keys. Goes to that corner, trying to find Lachlan Warnsley. But well taken there by Luke Briscoe. Good result in set there for Halifax. Fedderson will start 10 metres out. As Hardcastle wants to make ground for the Rovers, but good defence there from Kyle Wood and Kavanagh. Here's Gale, met by Wood, Murray, and Leroy. Jones finds Lockwood once more. Thought about the pass, but is met by Tangata. 45 metres out from their own line. Jones spies a gap from Tangata does well from Mark. A great work there from the Cook Islander. Aikens on to Ford. Ford puts it high. Woodburn all does well to take that. We're moving all over the place. As Salt and Stall met hard by Mackenzie Yeh. But if anything, it was Yeh who came off second best. Here's McComb. Tried to step through, but Elijah Taylor and Lockwood do well to take him down here's Wood on to Keys Dummies finds Mason Mason breaks out the tackle of Riley Dean but he's held out by Briscoe Kopchak and Hardcastle Keys finds Wood Dummies to Leroy goes wide to Jufre. Jufre long ball out to McComb McComb goes on the outside ball comes out is that a loose carry I think it is 
I think Kendall's giving us a fair hand in there. I think this is Ifax ball here, it is. Well, I said before, the floodlights aren't the best here. I can see that. But a result there for the Panthers. I was about to be mourning the fact, but there we go. Leroy plays the ball to Wood. Scheming that line. Takes tackle, just shy of halfway. Keys at dummy half. Fires out to Leroy. Leroy finds McKenzie here, but rides the challenge well. Helped out by Bussy. Just past halfway there. Ward fires out to Keys. Keys out the back to Jufrey. Jufrey, one ball to Mays and Mays now to Walsley. And it's a forward pass. Great word there from Halifax, but the execution just let him down. It was a forward pass. But yet again, the signs are there. That wants to get a bit more. Matt Jackson under our belt. We do look dangerous, this left edge especially. But Fenerson are a very good team. Emphasised by the fact that Mackenzie Year has just come off and Gadwin Springer has just come back on. PNG International replaced by a French International, both played in the World Cup. And it just shows that strength in depth that Fenerson have at this moment in time. As Hankinson takes a tackle from the scrum. Here's Gale from Dummy Half. Four Panthers men bringing down. Just though the 40 metre line. Jones spins out to Ford. Brings on Lockwood. But it's met well by Murray, Tangata and Wood. Options left and right here for Rovers. Late break there from Riley Dean. Ford chips it over. And well mopped up by Woodburn. Oh, he isn't mopped up at all. And Connor Jones. As all good hookers do, pounces on the error. Just compounded there. And we're just under a quarter of an hour to go here. It's Featherston 40, Halifax 10. And it was that. James Woodburn all. It's been safe as ours all game. And the first mistake he makes is punished. And I said before, you can't make your own look in this game. And Featherston, they have had the bounce of the ball this game. Mind you, if had that one where Warms has scored a fit. But by and large, Featherston have been dominant and they've had the rub of the green as well. As Hankinson lines up, and it should be a relative simple two points which it is and Hankinson seventh goal of the game brings the score out 13 minutes to go Federson 42 Halifax 10 Save. We've shown glimpses of promise, but Federsen just too good at this moment in time. As Ford collects the kickoff and brings on that Federsen substitute Springer, who's still going with four men on him. Jones finds Jack Bussy on the left hand side, but he's well marshalled there by three fax defenders. Here's Hankinson. Met by Jufrey. Tangata. Jufrey. Leroy and G. Will to be a forward pass there. It's a flat ball and Kotchak's away. Kotchak. Tackle there by Woodburn. Oh, still going quick, Kotchak. He's rolling back the ears for that break. Goes wide to Gale. Gale on that left hand side. Ball down there. I must admit that looks a forward pass, but. Got a favour attacking rugby like that. As Jones spins out to Ford, taken well 
and on to Gadwin Springer. Panic station in defence here from Halifax. Last tackle here as Jones fires out to Riley Dean, steps inside, grubbers it through. Woodburn all does well this time, gathers it well. Tackle by Taylor and the Panthers just about survive. Here's Walsley, steps out well, does really well, does Walsley, makes some great yards there. Find the 20 metre line and slow play the ball yet again. I think it's a six again. As, as Lockwood. It looked to me he threw a punch there at, at Wormsley. And the six again has turned into a penalty there. And to me it looked like Lockwood did throw a little slap or a punch at Wormsley, but don't think he's seen it. Waiting here for a ball to come onto the pitch. Here's Tangata. Met well by Lockwood, Taylor and Jones. And again, Featherson just slowing this play the ball down well. Here's Dufrey onto Laroya. Good start to the set so far here for the Panthers. As Wood shifts right and goes left, finds keys. Key shots, Tangata. Met by two Rovers defenders. They're stacking numbers to the left here of the Panthers. Here's Keys. He goes back to where he came. Here's Woodburn All. Bit of a planned move here as Woodburn All goes across the line. As Matty G came through the line. Rose fans calling for obstruction, but nothing given there by Kendall. Here's Jufre. Jufre, long ball out to Saltonstall. He's got space there. Kicks through. Taken by Ford. And Featherston will start to set off 10 metres from their own line. Bit of a late flourish here from Ifax. As Hardcastle drives it up for Featherston. And it's a knock on there. The, Halifax have got the ball somehow. Is it a knock on one on one steal? I'm not too sure, but the upshot is Halifax have got the ball. Keys steps inside, does well. Still going to Keys, great, great play here. Going for the line. Taken down less than 10 metres out. As Featherston yet again conceding six agains when there's pressure on the line. Here's Dufrey, Dufrey out to Woodburn All, breaks through and it's a great try. James Woodburn All breaks through to score his first try of the season. It's all consolation with less than 10 minutes to go, but it just shows that when we can string some place together that we can threaten but just nine minutes to go that try from James Woodburn all brings the score to Featherston 42 Halifax 14 with a kick to come great play there from Halifax and Woodburn all who's had a really good game for Halifax goes over Score his first try of the season. Had a great World Cup for Jamaica. Unlucky to miss out on the man of the match last week against Sheffield. But scores a great try there as Joe Keyes turns that four into six to get his second goal of the game. And to make it Featherston 42, Halifax 16. Some consolation there. Now can Halifax keep all this ball and do a, a good set after points here? As I said, there have been points where we have looked really good, but some of the errors and some of the soft defence, you just can't do against, not just Featherston, but most teams in this league. As Lachlan Walsley takes it well, I think he's taken one for the team there, Lachlan Walsley. I think he needs to make sure he's carrying three balls at the moment there. Here's Laroya. And Featherston yet again slowing this play of the ball down. Here's Jufre out of the bat, Woodburn all good. Good option here is Zach McComb breaks through. Zach McComb. Halifax finding during that right flank again. Here's 
Saltonstall onto Will Calcott. Broken field here for Calcott. Lots of main support here. Calcott getting lots of treatment on the floor from Riley Dean. Nothing given from the referee as Kyle Wood picks up one hand and is Tangata. Jufre steps out the challenger forward. Last tackle here for Panthers. On a really good set here. Here's Keys. Little dink over the top. Trying to catch Aikens out, but he's just alive to the task. I love some amount of counter attack. And Chris Kendall's given a, an eye tackle there. I think that's slightly harsh. I think it was one of those where first contact on the chest and rides up. But as it is, Featherstone have the penalty. And Jonathan Ford will kick the ball out to the touchline on that far side. But again, glimpses of the attacking prowess that Halifax have in this 2023 season. As Koch, as Koza takes the tackle, here's Riley Dean. Out of the back to Aikens, Aikens brings on Hardcastle, met well by Mays and outside by Keys, but he's still making ground is Josh Hardcastle. And eventually they put the man down. Here's Briscoe, goes himself. Meets good defence in Will Calcott and Adam Tangata. Left from Adam Floor and this perfect condition for Jones to go, but great tackle there. Fry Wood and Kavanaugh, it's another quick play of the ball. Here's Dean onto Lockwood, off for forward, forward. Breaks through, they were queuing up on that left-hand side. But the ball didn't come out. And Halifax doing the best to slow the play of the ball down now. Here's Cosa out of the bat to Gareth Gale, and Gareth Gale walks in. <laughs> to score his first try of the game. Seems... Seems ridiculous that he's only, he hasn't scored today, but eventually he gets on the score sheet. I was just under five minutes to go here. That brings the score to Featherstone 46, Halifax 16. And crowning a pretty dominant display here from Featherstone after taking Keefley apart on Monday I followed it up with a dominant display here against Halifax as Hankinson lines up wide on that far side just fades so the score remains Featherstone 46 Halifax 16 three and a half minutes to go can Halifax pour some more points can they avoid giving Featherstone 50 points again for the second consecutive game Here's Lockwood. Takes his tackle but brings on Springer. The ex Halifax man done well again today. Put down by Tangata. Lockwood once more. The Featherston captain. Putting in a captain stint here today. Jones again scheming from dummy half. Does well, bounces off the challenger Kyle Wood. Looks to break on that left hand side. But it's taken down well by Salt and Stall. And Jufre. Here's Jonathan Ford, brings on Cosa. He finds three Panthers men waiting for him, just shy of the 40 metre line. Last tackle here. I look to be a bit of a knock on, and it is. They're not complete the set. 
as Halifax will have the scrum or play the ball. No, well, they have the scrum on the 40 metre line, centre field. Another opportunity to post some points here, another consolation score to bring some sort of respectability. And yet again, it's Mason who'll feed this scrum. All the players stacked to one side. What will we have this time? It's Kyle Wood. Brace needs Jufre. Jufre onto Woodburn All. Woodburn All breaks. And Woodburn All streaming away. And it's going to be another try for James Woodburn All. And what a move from the scrum for the Halifax Panthers as Woodburn All scores his second try of the game. Two minutes to go here. And Halifax. So frustrating when we've put stuff together, we look really good, but you've got to put that together with discipline with and without the ball and defence. But take nothing away from that. Fantastic move from the scrum. Mason feeds it. They're all lined up left, they break right. And Jufre out outpaced Jonathan Ford and on to Woodburn all and he just had all the all the room in the world to go over. As Joe Keys. Looks to tag on this goal as quick as possible to try and get some points on points. Difference could be vital at the end of the season. 46 points to 20 at the moment. Can Keyes push it to 22? He does. So 46 22 here at the Millennium Stadium at Post Office Road. And Halifax just won't go away. Found about two minutes to go here, because again the the scoreboard stopped showing the, the time here. And uh, Fenister just ambled away to the halfway line to restart the game. Hankinson goes deep. Well taken by Woodburn All onto the Royer who's done really well when he's been on the field. Got through a ton of work and he's, he's made an impact when he's had the ball in hand. Here's Kyle Wood, wide to Jufre, Jufre onto Woodburn all his space out wide here again. A salt and stall looks to go through. When we sp spread it wide, we do look good. We stretch the defense, but it's just not happened often enough. As Matty G, Takes the ball up, going past the 40 metre line. Ward fires out to Tangata, Tangata. Here to Keys, Keys, short to Kavanagh. Great ball there. On to Mason, Mason breaking away. Goes down under the challenge of Riley Dean. As the full time hooter goes. As the Halifax Panthers finish with a bit of a flourish. But ultimately, it's the score on that scoreboard which is the most important thing. And after being down 24-4 at half time, bit of a rally here from the Panthers. Much more even second half, but again, poor discipline and poor defence. The own worst enemies here for Halifax. Tries two from Lachlan Walmsley, two from James Woodburn, all get his first two of the season. And Keys with three goals. All to show from Halifax.